Welcome back to the Clever TV Lounge. I'm Dana Ward, chilling with Jocelyn Davis. Hello. And we have John Morris in the house. Woo. He is the voice of Andy, all of the Toy Story movies. Yep. One, two, and three. Yep, the so trilogy. So amazing. Yeah, and we have to say congratulations. You. Five Academy Award nominations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can you list all five? Oh, gosh. Best Animated Feature. Best Picture. Best Screenplay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sound editing and I mean it's just amazing. you guys would be surprised and by the last one yeah and song wow <laughs> Thank you. And you know what the best picture nomination is right. a huge deal because for an animated movie to get that absolutely big, best picture nom absolutely. is absolutely really incredible what was absolutely. your reaction and the rest of the crew's reaction I mean um, you know you always hope for it but I think we were just you know we were all just like thrilled and you know it's like the emails started coming in and the text messages and you know we all I, I called over there and you know and emailed them congratulations and you know it just was like you know it's 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 what it's after four you know we worked on Toy Story 3 for four years really that's how long it wow. took. To that's how long it took from start to finish and so after all of that work and you know all of that time it's you know the ultimate sort of honor and achievement and and it's, to it's be amazing. recognized in that way. Exactly. To can be recognized it, I mean, for that can work. Can it get yeah. any better than this? I mean, to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, to win, <laughs> right? To win. But um, I mean, no, it's it's pretty thrilling. <laughs> you know, it's pretty pretty thrilling. So yeah. of course, we kind of already. I have to admit, we already talked about this a bit. I know we had a great you, conversation before. Are the you show. going yeah. to the Academy Awards? And if so, what do you plan to wear? Right. Um, I have a, you know, I have a tuxedo all all set. Spiffy and ready to go. Yeah. Love I, it. I, 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 um, I actually bought a tuxedo when I started doing, you know, events and and premieres and things. And um, uh, it's by Yves Saint Laurent. Why is that? Love who, it. Who, 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 uh, over thank here. you. <laughs> he, um, uh, I'm, I'm sort of shorter. <laughs> so he's a good designer for the, the shorter man. Awesome. So, you know, that, that was, uh, that was good. But, um, Fingers are completely crossed for the uh, for the Oscars. I'm going to some really really great parties, and I'm on some, you know, um, some uh, yeah, some waiting list. lists, some waiting yeah, some VIP lists for the yeah. parties, and some waiting lists for the for the Oscars. So yeah, I'm I'm just thrilled. I'm going to be down here the whole weekend, and and can't wait. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Now, you said you've been working on you know the to Toy Story trilogy for is it 18 years? 18 years. Yeah, I started with Toy Story when I was seven. So this has been mm. like your whole life. How do you yeah. even describe it to people when you first yeah. meet them and they find out? Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's really felt like a part of my life, you know, like, just like I loved playing soccer growing up and I, you know, and, and I loved to read and, you know, it's like, and I was in Toy Story and I've been in Toy Story <laughs> Trilogy because it's been 18 years. I mean, it's the majority of my life, you know, and, and um, it's always really fun to talk to people about it and people love the films and they love the characters and, and it's really, I mean, a billion people have seen it, have seen Toy Story 3 and- Literally. And you know, and it's become, you know, the number one animated film of all time. And so it's just, you know, it's touched the world. And to be a part of that is incredibly, you know, I, I feel incredibly grateful and, and, and honored and, you know, to play Andy and, you know, this kid that all these, these kids have grown up with too, because we were mm -hmm. talking earlier how the trilogy is more or less in real time and, you know, so these, these little kids are now out of college themselves. You know, the little kids who originally yeah. saw Toy Story. And it's oh just, my gosh. Yeah, it is wild, yeah. All right, talk to us a little bit about working with the other actors. I mean, I know mm -hmm. with voiceover, a lot of times yeah. you work alone in right. the studio. Right. Have you met yeah. everyone else in the cast on your shirt? Everyone on your shirt, right. <laughs> yeah, Good exactly. point. Um, the sort of person I worked most directly with, in a sense, was Laurie Metcalf, my mom. And we actually didn't work together, you know, in the booth, but we had our sessions booked back to back. In, in New York. And so, you know, we would, you know, I'd be leaving and she'd be coming or vice versa. And we'd have a really nice talk, you know, about her sons and, you know, what we've been up to and, and just a, a connection, which actually I think helped, you know, then how I approached Andy because that's Andy's mom, you know. Mm -hmm. exactly. I have my own personalization with my mom, but mm -hmm. then there's Andy's mom. And, you know, so it, that felt, you know, like really, really nice as well. But um, mostly, you know, gosh, have I met everyone in the cast? I don't think everyone, but I think like 90% yeah, of them. You, you probably know? feel like you know everyone. Yeah, I mean, anyways. at the premiere and, and um, John Ratzenberger and Estelle Harris and and I um, did a, a, like we were at a charity gala last June and you know, so done different different events with all of them and 
but the premiere, you know, was just so special and, and memorable, obviously on, on so many levels, but meeting all of them and, you know, meeting the little girl who played Bonnie. Yes, I, tell us when yeah, Andy met Bonnie. When Andy met Bonnie, <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, she'd been recording in LA and I'd been in New York and, and San Francisco and, um, you know, we'd, I, I had heard stories about her and that she was a sweetheart, you know, um, her name's Emily, but um, I hadn't met her. And then um, finally at the premiere, you know, the final scene happens between Andy and Bonnie and, and you know, we, we walk down, we're at the El Capitan and I walk into the, the aisle and, and I recognize her picture and, and I recognize her from her picture and she's coming up the way and, and I just sort of leaned down and I was like, so you're Emily, you're Bonnie. And you know, I was, I think everyone heard, you know, the Andy voice and there's Bonnie. <laughs> everyone and turned. Everyone Ooh! turned, yeah. All, you know, all 15 people you. were just like, what? You know, because this moment. Had like just had happened. Sort of, yeah, it's like recreating screen. the moment that it just happened. Yeah. So it was really sort of special and not planned and just, you know, like a magical moment. Oh my goodness. You know? Do you feel like there's a piece of you and Andy or that you've like kind of taken anything from that character and brought it into your own life? Is there a lot of crossover in there? Definitely, definitely. I, when I was little and even, you know, when I'm now babysitting with little kids, I get on the floor and I play and create voices and, you know, care, I've always done that. And, and that's, that's what Andy does, you know, and Andy, and definitely in terms of imagination and creativity and, and, you know, Andy's a really good kid and now he's a really good man. He's like, a, he's a really good person, you know? And I, I'd like, you know, I'd like to think that I'm a, I'm a good person too. And, we agree. You know, oh, thank you. Sure. you. You're thank a good you. guy. Thank you. Thank you. But, and you know, Andy has a younger sister. I have a younger sister. Oh, you know, crazy. so it's, yeah, so it's, there are a lot of crossovers. Definitely. So, of course. I mean, we, we have both have brown hair and brown eyes. Odd. <laughs> Interesting. Right. Um, Toy Story 4. Is it happening? What's going on? Right. Good question. A lot of people are interested in Toy Story 4. Um, from Scout's Honor, um, from from everything I know, uh, it's 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 the trilogy. You okay. Know, at, you know, as of We're now. We're leaving it at that. As okay. of now, yes. Um, I know that all the toys are coming back in a series of shorts. Oh. They're going to play be before the next Disney Pixar features, like Cars 2. Okay. And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the toys are coming back in that capacity next summer. And oh, so people, yeah, this summer. So people will, um, so will be able to see them. So big fans will still be able exactly. to see Exactly, the toys are still around. Yeah, exactly, exactly. What about Andy? And, um, I know, I Andy. mean, you know, you get your imagination cooking and you start to think, you know, if Toy Story 4 was in 10 or 15 years, you know, Andy would be, you know, in his, um, be like his early dad. 30s. Yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> he might have some of his own little it's, Andy Jr. Yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting, you know, yeah, so. It's sort of a stay tuned, but the door's not closed. closed. The door's not closed. Yeah, you know, and and it's a beautiful trilogy. You know, it's a beautiful story mm -hmm. from start to finish, the way it all you know wrapped mm -hmm. up. But you know, Bonnie will get older, Andy will get older. You know, so we'll see. We'll see. And what are you most looking forward to with mm. these five Oscar nominations? I mean, yeah, a clean sweep would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, you know, it would be. Um, you know, a, a huge sort of moment in history if, you know, Toy Story 3 wins best picture, you know, an animated. Yeah, exactly. Really? And so that's that's the one I'm really, you know, keep my fingers crossed for, but all of them. And, and it's an amazing script by Michael Arndt and an original story by, you know, Lee Unkrich and, and, um, and John Lasseter. And, um, you know, so it's, it's, it deserves that as well. I think it deserves all of them. Bias yeah. aside. <laughs> We're just a few weeks away, yeah. so only time will yeah. tell. Yeah. Ooh, love it. Exactly. Will tell. exactly. Well, thank you so much, John, thank you for so joining much. us today. Really fun, yeah. This was lots of fun. Yeah. And thank you guys for joining us here on Clever TV. Make sure you stay posted to our show for more info on this movie as it hopefully sweeps the Oscars. Fingers Lots crossed. Of crossed. <laughs> yeah. And all of your favorite movies out there. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis and John Morris. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.